All right, Smeldle here. So no one else has done this yet, so I'm going to go ahead and be bold. Four reasons why Obama's going to fail. His first reasons, well, all four reasons, have to do with how he's planning on getting us out of the recession, which is the only real reason he's in office. His first plan is the copper mining. And, again, this is his primary idea. Well, actually, I don't know. Maybe my fourth will be his primary. <laughs> um, so his plan is we're going to mine more copper and sell it. But think about it. Our pennies are made of copper. Our wires are made of copper. Our bullets are made of copper. Pennies are just going to keep us in the reception. People don't need pennies. They need dollars. Bullets lead to war. Obama's against the war. So what's he thinking there? That just leads me to think he's flip-floppy like the John E. Carey. So reason number one, he's not consistent. And he wants to mine copper. Reason number two, which is a lead-in, is his computer idea. Now this just drives me crazy. Think about this. We already have computers. We don't need more. He's planning, give, give him two years, maybe even one. We'll have double the computers in the world. And they're gonna drive me, cr they're, they're, no one's gonna know how to use them. He's spending more time on computers and less time on education on how to use the computers. I'm already confused. Reason number three, this is also a lead in. His idea of chopping all the trees down. Now, I don't know what he's going to do with these trees. I mean, who knows? I would bet he's going to sell them on the internet. Because that's what he seems to like to do. I would bet he's an eBay fanatic. Because he loves the internet. He thinks that's the future, not people. So, you know what? I like people more than computers. I don't know about you, whoever's watching this. I don't know about you. But you should like people more than computers, too. His last reason, which is the third and fourth and final lead-in, I don't know about you, heard of this. The prisoners. Now I pause because this is so scary. He's planning on stealing their finances. Yeah, it's true. They're going to be in jail for a while. Maybe 20 years, maybe 30, maybe 70. But you, that doesn't give you the right to steal their money, John Obama. <laughs> I mean, I'm getting names mixed up. Everybody's stupid. You don't... He's planning on coming in and taking their finances. Just straight up, you go to jail, I take your money. Uncle Sam, buddy. No. Uncle Sam don't stand for that. Obama is, a, is not going to be a good president. He's going to fill our landfills, fill our dumpers with computers. He's going to fill our minds with copper. He's going to fill our world with poor prisoners. And I say no.